what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of the sims 3 to sims 4 series where we are recreating the sims 3 families and their homes in the sims 4 so today we are recreating the infamous and the iconic land grab family which um yeah i've been putting off because they live in a mansion so that's why this is kind of a lengthy uh video so i'm sorry i tried to cut out as much as possible but yeah anyways we just have a lot to talk about i guess <laughs> so anyways we are creating like i said the land grab family which consists of jeffrey land grab nancy land grab and their son malcolm land grab so since they are kind of like iconic in the sims games i'm going to go and kind of tell you a little bit about them one by one instead of overall like i usually do um so yeah so we are creating jeffrey landgrab right now so obviously he's a pre-made sim he lives in sunset valley and his story is he fell into a heap of simoleons when he married into nancy's wealthy family so Jeffrey is much more down to earth than his wife, who is always grooming their son to be ready to take over their family's money. It would also seem that Jeffrey doesn't have that much power regarding the family. So when the family is first played, he is 18 days away from being an elder, which makes him a couple of days younger than Nancy. Jeffrey is enemies with Nick Alto and Vita Alto, but his anonymous interactions with them almost are always friendly probably because he has a good sense of humor and a charismatic personality so interestingly jeffrey is a land grab by marriage not by blood and it states in the family bio that since nancy's family pretty much founded the town it wasn't surprising that he took her last name instead of the other way around so judging by the family tree jeffrey doesn't have any other family living or deceased and his original last name is unknown he works in the medical career as a gene therapist and has five points in logic meaning that if he wants to get a promotion he has to improve his logic skill he also has two points in painting two points in cooking and four points in writing <clears throat> so his trait is Family oriented, good sense of humor, charismatic, loves the outdoors, hopeless romantic, and while he is a doctor, and I imagine that he would have that lifetime aspiration, his lifetime wish in the Sims there was actually to be an illust illustrious, illust illustrious author. So when I recreated him in the Sims 4, I gave him that um, best-selling author lifetime wish, and I kind of gave him more along the same traits. I did go ahead and give him the skills he has in The Sims 3, and I gave him the same, um, pretty much the same uh, job in the medical career field. So yeah, that's pretty much it about Mr. Jeffrey. So moving on to his wife, Nancy. So Nancy is a descendant of the wealthy Landgrab family, which built the town of Sunset Valley. Um, her parents are Chester and Queenie Landgrab. Chester died of an old age as an elder. However, her mother Queenie died of a fire as a young adult when Nancy was young. Both of her grandparents, Kitty and Kermit, died of old age and are buried in Pleasant Rest Graveyard. When the family is first played, Nancy is 16 days away from being an elder and she's enemies with the most of the Altos except Holly. So, Nancy shares many similarities with her mother, including their hairstyle, their blonde hair, two traits, which is ambitious and snob. They both wear makeup, have the same beauty mark, dress, and both wear earrings. Both Nick Alto and Nancy are vice presidents in the business career, and they start off as two ambitious workaholics in a tough competition to become the next CEO in the beginning of the game. Gunther Goth is a CEO. However, their rivalry hurts both their careers as it lowers one of the metrics for promotion relationship with co-workers. In some games, Nick is Nancy's boss and or vice versa, although they always have the same job position. She will often become CEO in the business career, fulfilling her lifetime wish if story progression is left on. So her lifetime wish is to become CEO of Mega Corporation. Her traits is workaholic, snob, ambitious, charismatic, perfectionist. And so I gave her the um, fabulously wealthy trait in The Sims 4, or lifetime wish, and gave her, you know, snob, ambitious, and perfectionist traits. So moving on to their son, Malcolm Landgrab. So in The Sims 3, he is a child. 
However, we know him in The Sims 4. He's actually a teenager. But, yeah, he lives with both of his parents. Um, he is different from his parents. He is good, ambitious, and a bookworm. However, he is more like his father, a family-oriented doctor, than his mother, who is a snobby businesswoman. According to his brother's his mother's bio, she often neglects Malcolm because she is overly concerned with her looks, job, and social life. He is four days away from becoming a teenager at the start of the game, and he starts off with a higher relationship with his father than his mother. And like I said, he dreams of becoming more of a doctor rather than a business um, heir like his mother. So that's interesting little rivalry there. I can imagine Nancy being kind of bitter over the fact that her son wants to follow in the steps of her husband so I don't know I don't I never imagined them having another kid because it's always just been them three <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it on the family that we recreated um in the sims 3 obviously we have them in the sims 4 but this is the sims 3 version of them so I mean if you like I personally like the sims 3 version better they have like more detailed story and everything so, I mean, I would personally, if you if you like the land, if you're a fan of the land grabs, just go ahead and delete them and their house in The Sims 4 and plop my Sims in because I worked so hard on this house and this family. Okay, well, the family, not really, but the house. <sighs> I have been dreading. I have been dreading this build, you guys, because in this series, I've had so much fun. Don't get me wrong. So, so, so much fun. <laughs> but there's three mansions. Um, and I just, I'm not into big ginormous mansion houses because they're just extra and big. And I just don't, it's just time consuming. So I have already finished the goth mansion. So check that out if you have it. And here is the land grab mansion. And I have one more, which will be the alto mansion. So, that'll probably, in a few weeks, I'm probably going to do some smaller builds in between there. But I feel like we're wrapping up with this series in Sunset Valley. And I do want to do other neighborhoods and other worlds in The Sims 3. So, if you think that's something I should do, comment in the description, or not description, comment box down below if that's a good idea. If you are enjoying that series, or this series so much that you would like to see me create families from other worlds, such as like, um, you know, Appaloosa Plains or uh, Riverview, you know, those those families and their houses that come with all the other expansion packs in The Sims 3. I just think it's really fun recreating their, their families and the houses in The Sims 4. But anyway, so this house, you guys, is extra. It's huge, and I was dreading it. But honestly, the exterior of the house wasn't that bad. It's not very complex. It's big. But it, even the interior, which is what I was dreading the most, is furnishing it. I just kind of flowed. It didn't take me as long as I thought it would. It took me, I started, um, I started one night, probably around like 6 o'clock, and I finished it, um, or I took like a break. I, I worked until, probably worked about three hours on it doing the exterior of the house, which is probably like a long time, but I, <laughs> maybe it wasn't quite that long, <laughs> but I felt like I, it felt longer because I split it into two, and then I actually furnished it the next day, and it took me um, like two sessions, so yeah, it wasn't that bad, mostly because my boyfriend was out of town, so I had a lot of spare time just to sit down and solely focus on building, but anyways, I skip most of the landscaping and me doing the backyard because this video was going to be over an hour long <laughs> and it was like pretty much about 10 minutes of me building the pool and the deck in the back and I cut that out only because after I finished furnishing the interior of the house, I actually go back outside and do a little bit of um, landscaping. I add the furniture, so, I mean, you still get to see the backyard, you just didn't get to see me build it, which probably isn't that big of a deal to you guys anyways. But I'm just hoping that I can get through this speed build and this voiceover because currently, my, vo my voice, or not my voice, my voice sounds fine, I think, but my throat is hurting, and I don't know why. It doesn't feel like sick hurting, but I'm hoping that maybe I just like slept with my mouth open or something, because it's just kind of been bothering me all day, and I hope, 
pray that I'm not getting sick because I have a very exciting week ahead of me. Um, Friday, I find out what the gender of the baby is, and then I'm going to be going out of town for the weekend, <laughs> and then Sunday, we are going to be revealing it to the family, and of course, I will be revealing it to all of you on Twitter, so hopefully, I'm not getting sick because I, I don't want anything to put a damper on my mood because I'm so excited. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we've got, uh, like I said, <laughs> we got a lot to talk about in this build because it's pretty long but anyways I guess what I can do try to kind of make this not so cringy and washable and bearable um, is just kind of like explain to you what I'm doing a little bit I've been trying to to do that and uh if I speed build talk about the build as much as I can because I know some of you enjoy that but anyways like I said this house is very extra <laughs> they have a ton of money they are old school money so obviously the the, the money has been passed down from generations they've like founded sunset valley if you actually go into the land grab family on sims fandom it kind of talks about the dynasty of the land grab family and how we can find them in sunset valley you can find them in the sims 3 blue water village the sims 2 and in the sims 4 and it kind of talks about well who founded it and blah 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 but it's a lot of you know history that i don't really feel like reading and talking about but basically they're old school so i built their house in windenburg because their house in the sims 3 was kind of like that tudor style home so i thought it fit perfectly on this huge lot that is in windenburg which was actually where the fries and um what was their other last name they're not married it was fries and for, uh, you know, y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a really big lot. So I think I bulldozed their house and used a lot to build the land grab home room, which I think was perfect. But anyways, I didn't struggle as much as I thought with furnishing it. Like I said, I just was kind of like, oh my gosh, this is a huge house. Why are they so extra? This is going to be, like, I'm, I'm crying. Like, I really was <laughs> dreading it. But surprisingly I, I i just i killed it i think i killed it not to brag on myself but i killed it so the room that i just furnished obviously was the living room i did not put a tv or anything in there because as you'll see once we get upstairs in the sims 3 home they actually have like a theater so i recreated that in this house in the sims 4 as well so in the living room you know i just gave them you know a little seating area i put the grand piano in there i made like a little bar area with the globe so they can drink and you know socialize in there I put a radio in there and basically it's just their formal living area and then right here um, in the Sims 3 home it was originally an office space for both I'm assuming both Nancy and Jeffrey but I thought it was kind of weird because you kind of walk through one of their offices to get to the like formal living room so I actually just kind of closed off the back space and made it an office for Nancy and I kind of just made this an open little hallway where I added a chess table and um you know some paintings and some plans I really didn't want to clutter it too much because it's a huge house um, but I don't think it'd be messy and I don't think just because it's huge especially the style house you know fancy and wealthy and materialistic as they are they wouldn't have a lot of junk cluttered around so I definitely wanted to stray away from that which I think it turned out nice it's not too bare it's actually perfect so I just gave them a little chest area right here but yeah I hate to leave Jeffrey out but I didn't give him an office just because in the description it just kind of made it seem like he's kind of like irrelevant obviously Nancy is the businesswoman she is the reason they have this big house this is her family's money she is just you know this ambitious businesswoman so I imagine that she would have the office and I think it turned out so nice I love it and um, I definitely see her spending a lot of time in there but anyways moving on to the entry um, I you'll see later I actually believe I do the bathroom and the um, utility room first but I did add a utility room because I have been doing that in all of these builds um, and originally in the Sims 3 house they had a bathroom on one side they were both bathrooms basically is what I'm trying to say but I didn't think that that was necessary to have two bathrooms downstairs and I needed a space for my laundry room so that's what I did but 
yeah, I think that <laughs> the bathroom downstairs turned out really nice. It just looks very fancy. It's got like the gold sink and the gold curtains and just very luxurious because I imagine obviously this is the main bathroom downstairs, which obviously they host a lot of dinners. They host a lot of parties and a lot of people because they are so wealthy and they are in business and you know, very established in the town. So yeah, I imagine that they would have, you know, an extra bathroom. So it just kind of shows off their money with all of the, the gold exterior and the trimming and everything like that. So um, here I kind of changed the marble flooring just because I, I like the marble flooring, but I liked this marble flooring better because it just kind of flowed more nicely with the color scheme I was doing. So for the entryway, I just, I was kind of dreading the entryway more than anything, obviously, just because I hate doing little entryways and hallways, and I just was like, what do you do? You just put paintings, and it's, I just feel like I repeat the same stuff, so obviously, I put, you know, a little entry right there, entry, well, I put a little entry right there, duh, I put a little table there with the flowers, just because I, I feel like in so many movies that I've seen where you live in these mansions that's the first thing you see is a beautiful table with a beautiful flower arrangement and I just added some little seating areas on both sides and some paintings and um, some mirrors and some statues and that's pretty much it um, as you'll see once I get into the laundry room I kind of wanted to give it well okay it was when i was doing the laundry room that i was kind of inspired <laughs> because the house is a mansion it's huge right but it's only three bedrooms and i was surprised that it was three bedrooms i was thinking okay look i know this house is extra i know ea max says they built it so they built it for a three family you know a three sim family so i'm sure there's only two bedrooms in this huge house and i'm gonna have to furnish these mega monster bedrooms but thankfully they have a third bedroom and i imagine that it would be like a guest room but when i was doing the laundry room i was kind of inspired and i was like you know what they're so extra and you know nancy since she is obviously so ambitious on her job she probably doesn't do a lot of cleaning and cooking so i imagine that they would have a butler so i turned the third bedroom into the butler's room so yeah, I don't know. I just kind of imagine that the clutter in the laundry room would be where the butler spends most of their time. Um, so I put a lot of like storage stuff and cleaning stuff in there because the butler pretty much will clean, cook, take care of the kids, all of that. And <clears throat> after I created this family, I obviously go in move the family in and I have to take screenshots of the house and also usually test play some of the things that I use to move objects on to make sure everything functions properly but I ended up actually <laughs> I hired a butler because a butler is something that I have never played with in The Sims 4 period never I just haven't really had a family that was that wealthy to have a butler so I hired one just to kind of see what it would do. So it was really cool. You know, obviously most of you probably have played with butlers. So, you know, you could just assign them a bedroom. They live with you. And basically they'll just take care of your kids. They'll greet whoever's at the door. They'll clean all that. They repair stuff. I mean, they're basically heaven sent. So I definitely like the idea of the land grabs having a butler. I thought it suited them perfectly and it made use of that bedroom perfectly as well so yeah I imagine that they would be very close to their butler and I don't think they would have a bad relationship with their butler because you know I don't think a butler would stick around if you know they were working for entitled and privileged arrogant rude bosses so I definitely think that Nancy and especially Jeffrey would be very kind to their butler and you know probably let her have days off and you know I could try to give her a nice space up there for her alone time she doesn't have to work you know 24 7 all the time I imagine that she would get a break but anyways my favorite part of this house is the kitchen and I was kind of intimidated by the kitchen because it's huge and I was like okay this is awkward shaped how in the world am I going to do this but it turned out so nice I was able to give them a little separate area so over here this is the kind of like the dishes area where they wash dishes and like put their um 
dishwasher. <laughs> what am I even trying to say? Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and then over here is where I ended up placing the stove and the pantry. I gave them a big island in the middle. And then over to the other side, you'll see I gave them a little bar area for, you know, a little espresso machine. So I think it turned out so nice. And I was actually able to pretty much make it very spacious but at the same time it's not too spacious which I I just can't even get over how I made this possible because these houses are kind of like a pain um, because it's like that there's so much space what do I do but it worked out really good so I'm very proud of it. I think it looks really nice and then obviously over there in the little bay window area they have a little breakfast nook area, which is where I would imagine they'd eat most of the time because, you know, it's the nearest table, but also because the dining room is for fancy dinner parties and all of that, which, like I said, I imagine that they would definitely have a lot of. So, yeah, I think it turned out really nice, but that is pretty much it for the downstairs portion of the house. And... I'm just, I'm proud of it. I really do. I'm, I'm just, I'm proud of it. I love it. I really do. Um, I kind of want to, you know, <laughs> have a rich sim and play in it. And honestly, I think this house would also look perfect in the Pinnacles in Del Sol Valley. I just imagine it being, you know, a celebrity home as well. And then once I go upstairs and start furnishing the master bedroom, I actually end up putting a vault up there, which is something that I haven't played with yet. Because once again, I just haven't played with a, a sim that that's wealthy. <laughs> so anyways, it was a lot of fun to kind of like add the money in there, you know, off camera, just testing it to make sure. And, you know, I was like, it kind of probably looks weird in their bedroom, but you know, it's Nancy. She's extra and she is basically an heir to this mega rich and successful family so it definitely makes sense for her to have a lot of money passed down so yeah I ended up putting that in the room I think it turned out really nice so I can definitely see this house being used as a celebrity home in Del Sol Valley as well if you don't want to download the land grabs and use it as their home I think it's a perfect rich family celebrity home and I really like it but anyways <laughs> I am obviously running out of things to talk about when it comes to the build because we're still working on the kitchen. I've already explained the kitchen and um, y'all know me, I just, I start to ramble and repeat myself and say how much I enjoy the house and how much I love the house and how proud I am of the house when I start running out of things to talk about. So yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, we're almost there, you guys. We're almost there. We're chugging along. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess like a little update on me how are y'all doing hope y'all are doing great i'm doing fantastic you know just living life um as far as my channel goes um working hard on it still i apologize again for the lack of videos last week i just kind of got really behind and then i was planning on you know being tip top this week but I started to get nervous thinking oh no I don't know if it's possible just because um, I do most of my recording and my voiceovers especially my voiceovers and my let's plays while I'm at work because I have a lot of spare time um, but there's days that my boss is here all day and I can't live without the sims and you know start like talking into a mic and just having a grand old time you know I gotta make it look like I'm, I'm working <laughs> so um, yeah <laughs> I was like oh no I might not be able to get as many videos as I thought I could but I am trying and here's the thing I tend to be like very anal with my channel I want a schedule I want it to be like perfect that's just how I am and I feel like when I just kind of upload when it's done and not really set myself to a schedule, you know, sometimes I get behind and that's okay. If I don't stress out about it, it just makes it so much more enjoyable to have the channel and to upload. So, yeah, I'm trying to do better with that. So, I hope you guys understand and can relate to that. If you have a YouTube channel, you probably relate because it's just like a lot of pressure to get something recorded all the time. Like, every, out, up and out every day. It's going to be really hard for me, especially once I am on maternity leave and I have a newborn baby. Um, I might have, you know, some spare time to, you know, do some recordings here and there. But... I don't know, it may for a while just have to be speed builds in my spare time. I may just build and do a voiceover whenever I can. 
but you know what that is okay a okay with me but anyways we'll cross that bridge when we get there but okay so i just finished doing the little movie theater room upstairs which i told you guys about when i was furnishing downstairs that's why downstairs formal living area doesn't have like a tv or anything like that it's mostly just for entertainment purposes for their guests but upstairs is where you know the family can go and invite their friends over and they have a movie huge movie screen couches they have a little card table they have the popcorn ice cream and all of that and here is nancy and jeffrey's bedroom upstairs the master bedroom which <sighs> was huge <laughs> and honestly i was like oh great oh great what am i gonna do but then i was like you know what vault and i mentioned the vault just a second ago i told you i put the vault there so yeah there's the vault i don't think it looks too terrible i was like does this look awkward but you guys let me know i think it turned out really nice i was able to kind of um blend it into the wall there as much as i could um, so obviously it's going to be locked and nobody else can get into it. It's just access for Nancy and Jeffrey. But anyways, the rest of their room is just really fancy, really pretty. I used a lot of stuff from the Get Famous pack because of all the, you know, luxurious mansion type stuff that we had come with that pack. I definitely put a lot of that to use. I tried to make it look, you know, cozy, but I was trying to take up as much space as possible so I ended up giving them that little bookshelf right there and then right in front of the bed I kind of wanted to take up some space obviously because that's just a lot of space so I put a little seating area and a coffee table you know where they can sit and chat and you know read just kind of go in there and relax and I think it turned out nice I put them some dressers and um, one of those dressers which I put over in the corner you'll see it's very small it's fancy but it's small and it kind of reminds me of like a jewelry box so i put that in one of the corners and that's what i imagine it'd be it's a dresser but i imagine it being like a jewelry box or something like that for nancy um since i already did give them a dresser i kind of debated on whether i wanted to use the fancy closet and shoe rack that came but i just didn't think it fit very well with their traditional um old money type house it just didn't really blend well so like I said, I ended up giving them um, some dressers there, and um, yeah, I don't know. I think it turned out nice. It's like I said, this whole house is big, but it's not as cluttered, which is good. Cause like I said, I don't think that it would be super cluttered, super lived in. I just don't think that Nancy would be into that because. I mean, they have a butler, they clean up, they want it to look presentable, they have people over all the time, so it's very well maintained, I guess you would say. And Nancy is a perfectionist as well, so I imagine that even though she doesn't do the cooking and the cleaning, obviously she wants her house to be in spick, speck, top shape. It's one of those houses you walk in and it's like, oh my gosh, I might break something if I touch it, but that's just, that's just the land grabs. <laughs> and here is the master bathroom. And I wanted to um, obviously utilize all the space that I have here because it's a pretty huge bathroom. So I ended up giving them the new tub that came with Get, um, yeah, Get Famous. And one of my favorite things to do when I use tubs, which normally in smaller houses or family homes, I use the two-in-one shower and tub. So I don't really have to worry about giving, you know, any background or any pictures or anything like that to the wall behind the tub. But one of my favorite things to do is to take those mirrors and just kind of line them along the tub because that's something I see a lot. And I think it just, it looks nice. And I did the same thing with the mirrors here. And um, I also gave Nancy a little, you know, area to do her hair and makeup since obviously I didn't even mention this when I was creating her because I was too busy explaining her story. But basically, okay, she is an adult. Both her and Jeffrey are adults. They're close to being elders in The Sims 3, but obviously in The Sims 4, they're going to start at the beginning of their adult age. But anyways... I imagine that for adults, you know, you're starting to get some wrinkles and, you know, you got to start dyeing that hair because the grays are peeking through. And I just imagined that Nancy is into the Botox, okay? So she has no wrinkles. She has the little beauty mark and she wears a lot of makeup and she's actually a very beautiful sim. She's 
I imagine her doing lip fillers. I made sure her lips look very plump and luscious. She just tries to look her best all the time and look young. And I also kind of gave her like a boob job. <laughs> Not because in The Sims 3 she had a boob job or anything, but because in The Sims 4, I believe Nancy Landgrab's boobs were kind of like big and it just reminded me of like a boob job. I do work in a plastic surgeon's office, by the way, so... I'm used to that, and there is absolutely no shame. I'm not judging at all. I used to, I used to be like, "What? Her boobs are fake." And you know what? Honestly, I can spot out fake boobs because I see them all the time. But like, I'm not against them because they look nice, <laughs> and I understand the need if you're flat chested. Um, so honestly, for me, I'm not. Um, but. I do see a lot of people coming in for lifts as well, and I've been thinking, I've already told my boyfriend, look, once, you know, we get done having all the children that we have, I don't know how many children we're going to have in our life, this is only our first, but, you know, um, I see a lot of moms coming in for, like, mommy makeovers, and they're, you know, when you breastfeed and you have so many kids, you start to sag a little, and some women come in and get some lifts, I'm not opposed to that, I, if I'm going to try to have the money. I mean, it's expensive. It's cosmetic, but I'm all for that. Like, I don't want no saggy ones. I want them to look, you know, perky. So, yeah, no judgment for Nancy and her boob job, but I, I wanted it to look like she had some very lifted and, and voluminous breast <laughs> for her age. So, yeah, I just think she looks very materialistic and very well kept, and her hair is always perfect, of course, as well. But anyways, you just saw me furnish the butler's room, which, like I said, I tried to, you know, make it very homey, make it kind of like they had their own little space to get away. So I gave them a bookshelf, a closet, of course, to keep their clothes in, and then a desk so they can kind of like hang out, write, do whatever they want to do. If you want to add a computer in there for them, you can because you can actually lock the door to the butler's room for just the butler to go in so you won't be having like Malcolm or the kids or anybody going up in the freaking <laughs> butler's room you know playing on their computer and now I am furnishing Malcolm's room which Malcolm's room is kind of big and you know I, I wanted to kind of go for like a, a kid room but at the same time I was like you know they're so materialistic and their house is like so traditional and old money that I kind of wanted to obviously give him children's toys and I give him a lot of stuff for you know entertainment purposes for a child but I gave him a full-size bed it's not kiddish at all um, I gave him a desk a bookshelf you know he has all the necessities I think his room is so cute but you know also like I said I don't imagine that Nancy and Jeffrey, or especially Nancy, would allow her kid to have a very childish bedroom. I know, I don't, I just get that vibe from her that, you know, she wants her house to kind of flow, and I think this works perfectly, and a plus is that once he ages up into a teenager, I mean, basically, his room's already decorated for a teenager, he has a full-size bed, he's got the closet, the desk, basically, all you gotta do is get rid of the toys, and wada-bing, wada-boom, you got a perfect little teenager room for Malcolm but I think his little desk area is so cute and I gave him the little scouts for because I imagine that he would definitely be into scouts be very scholarly and all of that I gave him a little trophy and badge shelf above his desk as well not because he's sporty I don't imagine Malcolm being sporty but maybe it was like some stuff he won from like the spelling bee or mathletes and stuff like that because I just see him very smart <laughs> kind of following after his dad because he does aspire to be a doctor like his dad so yeah his bedroom actually does not have an ensuite okay wait did I say that right his bedroom does not actually have an ensuite bathroom to it but because I ended up making the butler's or the guest bedroom the butler's room I wanted to give the butler his own bathroom and kind of like a separate bathroom for like guests upstairs because originally in the sims 3 house there was only one bathroom so malcolm's room was so big anyways i just gave him a small tiny little bathroom for himself which is like perfect he's the only child i imagine he's a little bit spoiled he has his own bathroom it's perfect but mostly the bathrooms kind of similar to each other especially the bathroom right here i kind of took a bunch of the same stuff from the different bathrooms throughout the house gave it the same theme because like I said I imagine that the house would kind of just flow and look very orderly 
Y'all, I'm struggling <laughs> to do this voiceover. Um, I've paused it about 10 times, so this is going to be a pain in the butt to edit, but it's just it's long and I'm out of breath. Like, <laughs> apparently that's something to do with like pregnancy, but like also it's just I'm talking a lot and trying to talk constantly nonstop, so I just get... Whew, out of breath, so I gotta pause it, so we're almost there, you guys, if you're still here, oh wow, if you're still here, please let me know in the comments down below that you watched it until the end, or at least until this far, because mad respect, <laughs> I just don't know how you do it, but thank you for being my friend and tolerating me, that's awesome, <laughs> I really do appreciate it, but Anyways, here we are doing the dreaded hallways. I hate doing hallways and stuff in houses. So, obviously, I just kind of kept it to a minimum, like I said. Just put some bookshelves here and there, a little seating area up here. Added some pictures on the wall, some lamps and whatnot. And I just called it, called it a day, called it a hallway. You guys have no idea how happy I was when I got to the hallway and I finished it. Because I was like, oh my god, I did it. I furnished this house round of applause you know if i could drink i would have treated myself to a couple of rounds or glasses of wine or something or some shots because <sighs> even though i did say earlier in the video that it really wasn't that bad and honestly it wasn't it's still just a big house you know so i didn't struggle with it some houses i go in and i struggle to find a color scheme and kind of flow but i didn't with this one so it wasn't that bad but it still took me a while and Wow, I did it. But anyways, here we are outside. I did mention earlier that I cut out a lot of the landscape and pretty much all of the landscape, and honestly, and how I did the deck and the pool in the backyard because this video was going to be over an hour long if I included that. So because I go back in and do all this updating and upgrading and whatever furnishing I'm doing, I figured you, you wouldn't mind. So anyways, obviously their backyard is beautiful. It is stunning. It's definitely for entertainment purposes. Their pool, I love the pool. But actually, okay, in The Sims 3, the pool, okay, see how I have the little deck going out over the pool? Okay, originally in The Sims 3, the pool, where that deck is, it was actually like a bridge, and you could swim underneath it, I think, if I'm correct. I know it was a bridge. It wasn't a separated platform. But I don't really know how to do bridges all that well. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, can we do bridges? I don't even know. I don't think we can do, like, proper bridges. I don't think so in The Sims 4. I mean, I'm sure there's some very talented builders that could probably tell me. But, anyways, I thought it wouldn't be a big deal just to put the deck out there. They have this little maze area over here. I ended up putting a wishing wheel right there because I thought it looked really nice. And... This little area out here is where I ended up putting the bar and a hot tub because, like I said, they throw a lot of parties and they entertain a lot of people. And so I was kind of thinking, okay, I need to put the bar in the house somewhere. But you know what? I think it's fine for them to walk outside straight down over the pool. And I put some pretty lights up out there and they can hire a mixologist, chill in the hot tub. I just think summer parties at the land grabs would be so much fun, but I think my favorite part is the lighting right here. I think those lights turned out perfect, and they fit, they just fit so nice. I was impressed, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I think it all turned out really, really nice. I ended up giving them, like I said, a hot tub. I gave them some lounge chairs or makeshift lounge chairs, pool chairs, because we don't have that, unfortunately. In The Sims 4, we can't, like, properly lay out by the sun or by the pool and sunbathe. So, I gave our Sims there some makeshift little tables. Not tables. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm struggling to finish this voiceover, you guys. But anyways, y'all know what I'm talking about. The lounge chairs. And here I am just putting some lighting around the yard. Because, of course, I feel like their yard would be well lit especially around the driveway and i think it turned out really really pretty i freaking love this house and i also gave them some like couches and a little um the little coffee table with the 
little here hater well it's not really a hater it doesn't heat your sims but it gives the illusion that it's kind of like a little fire pit i gave them that little seating area and then i gave them a little table and a grill out there and yeah i don't know i just think it turned out really really nice really cute i'm proud of it i think it's great hope you guys enjoyed it this video is actually finally wrapping up thank you guys for sticking around if you did round of applause i um, just please let me know because I'm going to shout you out because you are your boss. But anyways, you know what? I'm going to go now. So if you like this house and you want to download it, it is available for download on the gallery. My origin ID will be in the description box down below. The family is available for download as well. They do include custom content, which will not be linked. But of course, you know, you can go and add your own CC, whatever you want to do. Or if you just don't want to, you know, use this for the land grabs. Download the house. It's a pretty house for your celebrity sims, whatever. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I love you guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. She's waiting.